I'm a photographer, an entrepreneur, an educator, coffee addict, an animal lover, and an all-around hot mess. Welcome to my life. I am Matt Matthews. What's up subscribers, Matt Matthews here with Matt Matthews Photography and today we're going to talk about natural light and the two types of natural light to get you better portraits outside. So there are two types of natural light. We have indirect light and we have direct light. Now the first thing that we're going to shoot with today is indirect light. Now indirect light is light. I ain't even mean all that. Indirect light. Go on and cut it. Shit. Indirect light is what we're going to be using right now and it's in the shade so we don't have a whole lot of harsh shadows and the sun coming onto your subject. So what we're going to do right now is put Lauren onto this wall. So Lauren just kind of step back for me. Okay. And what I want you to do is just kind of pop that leg again how we did earlier. Perfect. And we're just going to flip that here this way again. Oh. He messing up my beat show. That guy. <laughs> I'm finna get your license plate. <laughs> now we gotta do this over. Look, he looking at Gigi like dang. What? Oh, you still going? Oh, <laughs> you gonna have to do me like that. Okay, so I want you to put your hand in this hair. Yep, pop that leg for me. Perfect. All right, look right here at me. Beautiful. Now, a tip with natural light when you're using indirect light is that you want your light to be facing your subject. So what I mean by that is she's in the indirect light, but the sun is over here. So we still have that diffused light coming toward her face so that we still see her. If we were to turn this way, this way? Turn that way? Yeah, turn that way, shit. <laughs> if we were to turn that way, you obviously can't see her because there's a brick wall there. But if she were to scoot, over the light would not be as good because it's coming from the opposite way so the light is still being diffused onto her back i hope that makes sense if not y'all just up. um okay we good it's a wrap all right so when we talk about using direct light we are clearly in the direct sun so typically when you're shooting in direct sunlight you want your clients to be facing away from the sun so the sun's coming back here so you want that light to be coming down you can see where it's falling onto her neck and onto her chin and stay so just like that take a step this way away from that there you go close your eyes for me <laughs> I wish you could get out my damn shot. I don't know where to go! <laughs> so, obviously the way that I have her is facing away from that sunlight so that I can really catch those really pretty highlights going across her body, especially when it's coming through her hair. Now, when we want to get a little freaky deaky and play with some harsh shadows, which I see a lot of photographers are scared to do, what I want to do and what I want to talk about is how to use that to expose properly to get that natural I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I need to retake this. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep going. He can clip and edit where he needs to. Okay, so I want you to turn this way and face the sun. Now I know this is super bright. Oh so God. I want you to do is bring your hands up here. Okay, close your eyes for me and just breathe out. Now Lauren, take your other hand and kind of push that push that hair forward. Did both hands? Yeah, 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 just like that. And then look right here at me. Just actually, I know that's bright, so close your eyes for me. And I'm gonna count to three. And whenever I say open your eyes, I want you to open right here, okay? Uh -huh. One, two, three. All right, so that was some tricks to using natural light photography. I hope that that helps you better your portraits. And if you have questions about what I just did, then rewatch the damn video. I'm not going to go back over that again. But if you do have questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll answer those in my next Q&A video. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button below and follow along on Instagram. Stay tuned for more videos, and see you guys later.